Hey, so um, this is a video, uh, just an overview of the a 1980 Yamaha Sika 750 um, XJ 750 carburetors. Um, if you um, uh, just for the people who you know don't know exactly what they're doing um, and they need a little help or motivation, a little insight into the carburetors, uh, well, I'd like to try to um, help you in this area. So. I'll just start uh, going through some of the parts of this. Uh, the, the main part, pretty much, is the throttle plates. Um, this is a pretty simple beginning part, a uh, good place to start. Um, th this opens and shuts as you open, if you, you turn your, your throttle, these are the plates that open. And uh, these are your main throttle plates, you, you, the, but the, there's also secondary throttle plates. And if you're wondering, you're looking in here, and you're wondering, like, what in the world? I'm going to pull this tube off. Okay. Um, you know, you're thinking, what in the world are these? You know, you boggle your brain. Um, well, they are actually called vacuum slides, and um, uh, they're they're the secondary throttle plates. The primary throttle plates are here, which you manually open and shut. But uh, these only create uh, suction and pressure. So when that pressure occurs, it, there's a uh, it it uh, causes a vacuum up in these like heads up here. Um, and which pulls this this part up and uh, allows fuel to run up the the main jet. Um, speaking of main jets, uh, there are uh, there are two jets. There's an idle jet and there's a main jet. The idle jet, uh, as you can tell from what uh, the name, is w what the engine's running off of when the throttle plates are completely shut and the engine is just idling. But when you full pull the throttle, the th the throttle plates open up and there's something called the Venturi effect. It's it's like blowing across the top of a straw which is in a cup. There, the, the water will travel travel up the straw and then out. Just that's the um, principle that behind these uh, these um, jets which are actually little just little holes. That's all they are. Um, like mini straws which the air is flowing past and sucking gas out of. So the Venturi effect moves back and, and stops sucking from the the idle jet and moves to the main jet uh, where these these other slides you can see they open up and uh, so on and so forth so um, anyways and those idle the idle needles which uh, increase or decrease the flow through the idle jet are right in there the idle needles are adjusted with a with a just a standard flathead screwdriver small you want to make sure it fits perfectly because these are brass needles uh, and they're called needles but uh, they're actually screws with a needle tip so you un undo these or tighten them and I'm not exactly sure for these carbs but uh, you you want to be when you're taking these carbs apart to clean them you, you all you don't want to adjust the needle uh, depth because typically you, you never adjust it so when you're taking it apart what I always do is I count the rotations, half rotations or full rotations, typically half rotations because it's more precise. You, you count the half rotations in until it stops, then you undo them all the way and you record for each one the, uh, the, the rotations, you know, the rotations that it is set at, right? Uh, rotation, by rotations I mean if you're screwing it in until it stops. So then when you put them back, you screw them until it stops and you screw it out two and a half rotations or whatever. So um, that's that's the idle needles. Uh, the main jet needles, they're, they're not adjustable. Well, they are adjustable, but you typically won't have to bother with them. And there's also, so, so to these heads, the, these heads come off. They, they come right off and then you'll see there's this rubber diaphragm. And those, that's what uh, it allows the, the second throttle plates the um, vacuum cylinders to actually move up the rubber diaphragm causes a as a as a causes the suction um, you know that allows it to move up and down okay so um that's that's a little that's a few couple things also we have the choke here which uh, if you move up it's it's right here the choke see how that moves up or down that's adjusted by on your handle uh, on your handle throttle uh, controls, um, uh, handle controls. Um, so 
that's oh also we have the over here we have the uh, the the idle speed screw if you tighten this in or tighten it out it'll it'll slightly open or slightly shut these throttle plates which will increase or decrease your idle speed um, that's important um, other than that there, there's a lot of internal stuff which I might might go over in a different movie um, but uh, so yeah, th that's a general overview of the whole carbs. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll try to answer them to the 